What's going on everybody? This is Ethan from Arch Audio bringing you the next ingredient to our special sauce. When I was trying to think of a microphone to talk about that has been as impactful as last week's edition with the FET 47, the first microphone that came to mind pretty much immediately was the Shure SM7B. Oh yeah. There's a lot to say about this microphone. It was invented in 1976 to replace the Shure SM7A, which had been invented to replace the Shure SM5. Both the SM5 and SM7A were made primarily for use in the broadcast industry at that time. The people at Shure decided they wanted to make a microphone that was a little bit more than just a broadcast microphone. So they handed their design team an SM57 and boom, the Shure SM7B was born. This microphone was probably made most famous by its use on Michael Jackson's Thriller record produced by Quincy Jones. After that record happened, it made its way into pretty much every major studio in the industry and it has been used on vast amounts of records, um, probably just about anybody you can think of. It's been used on Chili Peppers, it's been used in Bob Dylan, it's been used for Sheryl Crow records. It's, it's painted a lot of history and I use it all the time. It's also still used for broadcast. Um, the thing I love about this microphone is that it is dynamic, but when paired with the right preamp or with a cloud lifter or both, you can still get a very condenser-like quality out of it, or you can still get a dynamic quality out of it. Um, I use it for hi-hat. I use it for snare drum sometimes. I've used it for electric guitar. You can definitely use it on vocal. It's great for vocals in a live situation because it's dynamic, so your bleed is less than if you were using a condenser mic. Um, it's, it's useful for just about anything. Uh, and, and on top of that, it's incredibly affordable compared to some of the other high-end microphones out there, especially for the sounds you can get out of it and how impactful it's been on rock and roll history and music history and pop culture history and just everything like that. So I highly recommend doing what you can to try and get your hands on one and just experimenting with it, testing it out and seeing what it can do for you. If you're a DIY type of person, this microphone can really help you out and really help your sound, especially if you pair it with a well-treated room. If you are a major studio person and you've somehow not ever managed to get around to one of these, do it, do it, do it, do it. I love this microphone. So the Shure SM7B microphone of the day. You guys have a great one. Take care.